Hey, what up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Demon Souls walkthrough. Uh yeah. And it wouldn't be a real De Demon Souls walkthrough if I didn't run up these stairs. Wait for it. Wait for it. And jump off and do a suicide run. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can't start a Demon Souls walkthrough without jumping off the platform like that. Alright, now we're ready to start the Demon Souls walkthrough. Alright, so last time uh, we left off on killing the armor spider. And uh, let me check if I have the arrows. Yes, I do. Yo. Hello, I'm keeping. Alright. And uh, drop off all these items that we don't need. So I don't accidentally use them. I have accidentally used an item before in my practice. But I accidentally used one of those, uh, the eyes. So I revert back into human during a boss fight. I'm like, oh shit, if I die here, it's not going to be pretty because I'm in human form. And um, if I die, the world tendency is going to shift. So I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> fucked up there. But nonetheless, I didn't die, so that was good. You have a heart of gold. You have a heart of gold. Don't ever let them take that from you. So the armor, spider, archstone, and uh, we're gonna take the shortcut. I don't really know how the long way goes. I know there's some annoying shit there, and there's like. A some lava pits so I don't it's a pretty long way I believe if I recall correctly I ran it through like once or twice but that was back in the days when I was curious about how that route would take but I remember it was, it was super long so crystal lizard here I don't even know if we can get this one yeah oh what shit I got it <laughs> never got this guy in my practice room Actually, I kind of did, but then I got beat up and died afterwards by these bitches. Ah, these guys hit really hard. Well, they don't really hit really hard, but when they gang up on you, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you got a critical hit on me or something. That shit just... Well, the, the pickaxe guys hit really hard. Fuck. I died. In... But we got the crystal lizard, so... <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know if they respawn. Oh, they do. So you can find them. Nice. Alright. Uh, fuck the crystal lizard this time. I'm not gonna mess with him. Go do this. Coming through. Yeah, these guys get all pissed off and shit, you know. Uh, freaking died right in the beginning. It's so embarrassing. Okay, so this is the shortcut. Uh, you might lose some HP coming down here, but it's the fastest way to get down here. And uh, let me remember the path. Oh, it's right here. Make sure you stick close to the walls. You'll land here. And uh, keep close to the wall again. And you'll land here. There's some pickups over there. And there's two crystal lizards. And... Uh, Let's go and check that out right after we grab this thing. Okay, hopefully I don't fucking fall down somewhere else. Sweet. Alright. And I think if you have black world tendency, um crap, there's one running away. I think if you have black world tendency, there's a black phantom here. I don't know if there's um if an NPC would show up here actually. I'm not really sure. Cause look, there it looks like someone's supposed to be right here. Cause I know, um, I I remember seeing a black phantom here before. I just don't remember if um that was black world tendency or what. Because it was uh pretty early on in the game, like when I got the game, you know, like pretty early on in the days. Back back in the days when Dark Souls hasn't came out yet, that's um that's when I found out about the black phantom. So I don't know if that was Black World Tenancy or not because I didn't really understand the World Tenancy system in this game um, when that happened. 
So just keep following the route that I'm taking to drop down here. And right here you can just uh, move forward. And uh, drop down here. There's supposed to be a crystal lizard right here but it always runs away. I don't know how you can get him. The guy always runs away. And then we're gonna get down here with some worms. The way to take down those worms is um, they do spew out lava, but it's, they don't shoot it at you though. It just kind of explodes. And there's some items here you can pick up, and there's gonna be like around three worms. Oh shit! I think I got the critical spot that time. That's why he died instantly. The critical spot is in their mouth right there. It's a real pain to melee these guys because um, when you get close they spill out those lava and it hurts. Those lava hurts. Um, the fuck down. Thank you. And uh, here are some fist weapons. You know, knuckles. If you guys are interested in that, you can go right ahead and grab that up. Oh, and also some pickups here. Full moon grass, and there's one right over here. Okay. Now, for the flame lurker, I have a tactic to kill him without even getting scratched. Well, maybe you'll get punched a little bit, but it's not gonna kill you. Flame Lurker, I don't know what the hell he is. It looks kind of like some sort of species. But yeah, the best way to take him down without even having to break a sweat is just stand right here, you know. Shoot him with arrows. Get his attention. And uh, I'll get over to this area right here. And then you can just pop a pop. Just keep shooting arrows at him and eventually he'll go down. Yeah, be careful when he does that. Heal up. Just keep them over there and then you won't have um, a lot of trouble fighting them because if you fight them with melee, it does take um, some dodging skills. And uh, I don't want to go through trouble. When I fought them um, with melee, it did, took, it did take me a while to get um, his HP low, but then he ended up killing me instead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the dodging for this guy is really annoying, especially for that blast that he does. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Ah, damn it! Come here. If he runs all over to the left side, you want to keep right, okay? Okay, if he jumps over there, keep over here. He's gonna do a jumping attack. If you're too close to the bone, you won't get hit. This is the easiest way I've found to beat this guy without breaking a sweat. So just cheesing my arrow here. Uh, that's why I said you should bring a lot of arrows because there's a lot of cheesing involved in this, this fight. He is possible to beat with... Um, Pure melee though. Just need a skills, which I don't have the patience for. And this is how I always have done it. Cheesing him, cheesing him. Maybe you get like a better bow and better arrows, it'll be quicker. Not really sure what element he's weak against. Be magic. I know I've used uh, the sticky white stuff. It does a hell 
like a shit ton of damage against this guy. If you use the sticky white stuff. Attack is his number one weakness. Ah, you stupid flame looker. Uh, if you just stand here near the bones, um, cheese him a couple of times, he just starts running. And he won't get anywhere because there's, there's like, there's an object right between us. I wonder if they're dragon bones, actually. And I don't know if he gets hotter as the fight goes on. I know that if he, if his HP hits 25%, I believe, um, he gets hotter. And um, when that happens, his attacks does way, does way more damage. So you gotta be careful if you're fighting him melee. Yeah, it's pretty boring. I don't know. I might decide to speed this part up because it's just gonna be this rinse and repeat for a while until his HP completely drops to zero. Working out with the flame lurker today. He's doing like a five mile dash run sprint while I sit here and practice my archery skills. Come here, doggy. Shit, I missed. Don't want to miss too much because <laughs> I don't have that much arrows left. Oh, fuck. Jumped over there. Yeah, if he does that jumping attack, you just have to back up. You cannot melee this guy through, um, through this part though, so. I've tried. Maybe my weapon ain't long enough or what. But, yeah, um. I don't think you can melee him. Maybe if you have a spear, you can do it. Do a jumping attack. Nice. Stop jumping. <laughs> I like the way he runs. Like, it kind of reminds me of a monkey or something. Yep, see, now when he drops his HP to 25%, it starts burning. It's pretty cool, actually. It looks all flashy. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of the smell to the demon. Take him down like a box. Oh, that missed. They don't got much arrows left. I thought I was too close with that one. I'm gonna get up before popping another shot and learn my lesson. I don't wanna waste another arrow. Oh shit. I have a couple of friends that quit Demon Souls over this boss. <laughs> they couldn't beat it, but then I tried telling them we could just do this. I guess they didn't understand it or what. But yeah, they, they quit Demon Souls over this. Over this boss. Oh shit. If he gets like closer to where you're at, you just wanna stick towards the right in the corner of the bone, okay? You don't wanna move too much to the left. And then he'll just get back to this area. Oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Go back to the other side. No, no, no. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I like how his dodge just comes out of nowhere. Uh, kind of hate it when he glows like this because sometimes I can't really see where he is and what he's doing. 
Okay, come on. Fan of Michael Jackson, I see. Come on, bitch. Take it to the face. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. No, shit. No, 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 no. There we go. Stop dodging it. Take it. Finally. Yeah, so down the flame lurker goes pretty easy. Uh, if you guys are cheesing it, um, if you guys want some challenge, fight it with uh, melee. <laughs> You'll get some challenge. But yeah, if you guys are having trouble with this boss and you just want an easier time with him, cheese it with arrows, and uh, yeah, that's how you do it from cheesing it. Hopefully that didn't take too long. Oh, just 16 minutes. Okay, so it's not too terribly long. Uh, I don't know if I'll speed it up. Maybe I will. <laughs> Gotta rewatch it first and see if it's worth speeding up. Okay, for now, um, that is gonna be it. We got 23,000 souls. That's a lot. Um, how many arrows do you have? 17. I don't know if that's the, gonna do the trick. I think it is. Um, I think we can just get some. We can level up first before worrying about it. Get some endurance. Get some HP. Oh, she only got 55 souls. That's not good. Uh. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for now. I'm just kind of concerned about the next boss <laughs> because uh, his breath, one of his attacks does quite a amount of damage. So yeah, uh, I don't know. But anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for this part of the walkthrough. And join me next time when I take on Demon Souls 2 Dash. Wait, 2 3 actually. Yeah. This is 2 2. So, <laughs> yeah, see ya.